What's up guys, Cody with Plug Uglies. Uh, doing a little airbrush work on these bags. We're gonna do some realistic blue flames across the front here. We've already got them all taped off and ready to go. Figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how it's done. Um, to do this, you will need a freehand airbrush template made by Art Tool. Um, other than that, you just need a bunch of practice, but we'll show you how to do it. All right, so here we go. Well, there's no um, there's no like direct way to start this or anything you just kind of just kind of start and you know build it up as you go so uh, you don't have to start with the tool you can just you know you can just spray a line like so and then kind of see where it's going and then place your template make sure you're holding it still so you're not creating double lines and uh, you don't want to use the whole curve of your template. You just want to use, you know, just a little bit. So like, like here, I'm just gonna use this edge over here and just kind of wisp it off the top there. And then we will make it a little bit brighter, but then, then you just kind of build it up a little bit. And, you know, remember there, supposed to be flames they just kind of do what they want so there's no uh, there's no exact pattern to this you just kind of play with it a little bit and build it up as you move along and as you do it you ought to start seeing you know uh, you know a, a flame start to build up and form uh, let's see. and I move use you want to use you know different um, different parts of your template too you don't want to use the same t same piece over and over you want to change it up a little bit otherwise it you know it starts to look like a like a generic pattern And then I always try to fill in like this stuff here, you know, I don't want it just dead space. Um, you know, I put a little bit of, a little bit of color in there and uh, I'll come out here and change it up a little bit. Well, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but change it up a little bit. And You do want to be careful too that you don't overuse your template because um, you'll just start to get like a Swiss cheese kind of look um, which I kind of feel like I'm moving toward here so I'm going to lay off the stencil just a hair and uh, just try to kind of freehand a bit of it in. Um, definitely want to practice your, your dagger strokes and whatnot because that's what a lot of this is is just on and off the trigger you know um, just going across to pulling them dagger strokes so there is a reason why everybody tells you to practice those You want to make sure that you are putting this on bright enough too because you're going to lay a candy blue over it and uh, so you want to make sure that, that there's enough color there for it to pop through that that blue so you definitely want to you know as you're doing it make sure you're just kind of brighten it up in some places and then as you get toward you know your your ending point you know you kind of want to drag them out a little longer so that's you know how flames typically do toward the end they've got a little more of a long uh, wispy tail to them so keep that in mind and 
you know as you're as you're doing it try to decide what part of your flame is going to be closer to you and and what of it's going to be further away and that way you can later on you can go back and add your highlights and you can pull them out and uh, make them look a little closer to you all right so now we've got a little bit of candy blue loaded up in our airbrush gun um, all we're going to do is just kind of lightly coat over this until it gets to the um, you know the desired shade of blue that we like and uh, then we'll probably go back in kind of um, revisit our highlights a little bit and then we'll come back and go over it again with the candy blue and that just kind of punches it out a little bit switch back to white and we're gonna just go through and kind of reestablish our highlights a little bit and then we'll go back in with the same candy blue and uh, you know we can go back over them and this this will just brighten them up a little bit give them a little bit of a uh, look like another layer to it That's pretty much all there is to it guys um you know just lots and lots of practice don't overuse the stencil um just kind of you know let it flow and form to its own thing um gotta do a little bit of pinstriping on this yet uh and then it'll be you know done but if you guys like the video uh hit the like button make sure you subscribe and all that jazz uh leave me something in the comments and uh we'll see you next time